That's the life that we have in Jesus Christ. No, no, it's, I, I'm not saying, li, listen, I'm not trying to give you a cliche. And I'm not trying to give you something that, that you can just remember. This is something that you got to know. You got to know that Christ is in your heart. You got to know beyond any shout or doubt. You got to know that the Christ that I'm believing is, is the be beginner of life. It's the beginning of life. See, you can take this Bible and you can throw it across the field now because you didn't mess around and let that Bible get in me. And once that Bible gets in you, then it doesn't matter what men do with the Bible. It doesn't matter what they do with the Bible because the word of God is in you. And if you are obeying the word of God, then you are shining. You are shining. In order for us to shine, we must get outside into the world. What good is shining in here? Well, everybody got it. But God has placed us in strategic places. Even if you are incarcerated, God is telling you to shine. Do you know God got, got men and women that are saved in jail? They are saved in jail. And God is saying to them, shine for me where you are. Trust me in the midst of the incarceration. Your sin may have gotten you in, but Christ has gotten you out. And if you are saved in your heart, you ought to be making some sounds for the Lord. Amen. There are a lot of things I want in life, but the stuff that I want in life, I got to make sure that God is tied to it. Because if God is not tied to the things of the life in this life that I want, then I'm leaving God out. I want God in every corner of my life. Let me ask you this question. Is there a room in your life that you don't want God to go in? Let me tell you, he already there because we serve a living God. He already know about it. Is there a sacred secret that you are holding within yourself that you said that you would, leave, you would die before you tell anybody? Well, let me tell you, honey, baby, child, brother, let me tell you, he already know. He already know your story. Huh? He try, and I like it because he don't tell nobody. Yeah. Not only do he, he, he might tell somebody that he might be able to help you. That's why I could be moved. The Lord said, I need you to speak this to this lady right here. I don't know this lady, but the Lord know what she's going through. So I need you to say this to her. I need you to say this to her. I need you to tell this brother right here that his life it's not going to fare well until he put God in his well. There are things. So I live a life where I'm waiting to be used of God. And you better believe he's always talking to me. And since I got connected with him, all I want to do is shine. All I want to do is shine for Jesus. In order for us to shine, we must get outside. We must Touch bases with people, amen, other than people that we know. White, black, that's why it's not just good to be a black Christian. You ought to meet some white Christian. Huh? You ought to meet some Chinese Christian. Huh? You ought to meet, meet some Christian from Pampanga. You ought to meet, I mean, you ought to meet, don't, don't be so connected to just one. You don't know where God can use you. And let me tell you this. You don't know where your blessings will come. You can't segregate yourself from the world. God said, I'm placing you in the world. And did not he tell his disciples that I'm sending you out among wolves? Didn't he say that? He know what the world entices. He know what the world is into. He knows all of this. God got people working everywhere. All he wants us to do is shine. In this pandemic, can you shine? Can you shine? Can you give God the glory? 